All right, welcome back. In this video, we're going to go over the pentose phosphate pathway. This is a very underrated pathway because a lot of professors don't make a big deal out about it, but it's super important. So the goal of this pathway is to make a ribose. Now you're probably wondering, why do we need to make a ribose? What is the purpose? And I'm going to tell you, it's probably, it's super, super, super important. One of the most important pathways in your body because it is used to make DNA. All cells need to have ribose. You probably learned in molecular biology or in biology the structure of DNA. And you probably learned that it consists of a phosphate group, a five carbon sugar, and the nitrogenous base. So this pathway is making the five carbon sugar. So that's why it's super, super important. And so we're taking glucose 6-phosphate and turning it into ribose 5-phosphate using four steps. And this guy, Bernard Horrecker, came up with it. So let's get started. So step one, we're taking glucose 6-phosphate, which we know from glycolysis and basically every other pathway we went, we went over. We're going to use the enzyme glucose 6-phosphate dehydrogenase. And we're going to take NADP+. Plus, and what we're going to do is the basically the OH group you see right here, we're going to strip off the hydrogen, attach it to this, and we're going to come up with NADP+. H plus H, okay? And then the resulting molecule will be a double bonded oxygen here. And we're gonna get 6 phosphyl -gluco no delta lactone Or we don't really say the delta here, so it's 6 phosphyl -gluco no lactone So this is a hydride shift, and this is irreversible. So once we get to here, we cannot go back. We are locked in. So that's all we're doing. Basically, this converting this OH into a double double bonded oxygen using glucose 6-phosphate dehydrogenase and turning NADP plus to NADPH plus H. All right, step two. This is a ring opening reaction. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take this 6 no lactone and we're gonna add water to it with the enzyme 6 no lactonase. And what we're going to do is basically open up the ring. That's all we're doing. So the best thing to do is actually count your carbons. That's the best way to you know, tackle this, this step. So number your carbons starting from here. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then basically number it here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Everything stays the same. Now you're probably wondering, where is this coming from? This OH. I mean, sorry, this, this oxygen here with a negative charge. Because like, you, you probably see that the carbon double bonded here, oxygen is coming from here, but where is this coming from? And it's actually right here, right? Because remember, this is a carbon, and then here's an the oxygen, and then uh, this would be a negative charge. Okay, so this is a ring opening reaction. So once again, we're using a 6 fossil gluconone lactonase and adding water to open up the ring. So now we get 6 fossil gluconate. Now, step three. Step three, what we're going to do is we're going to take the 6 gluconate, and this is a little complicated. It's, uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to take the 6 gluconate dehydrogenase enzyme with NADP+, plus, and what we're going to do is we're going to convert it into NADPH plus CO2. And what we're doing is we're eliminating the carbon. So this carbon, number one, no longer exists. And that's how we're going to get ribulose 5-phosphate. So notice here on this final molecule here, we have five carbons, not six. So this right here becomes CO2. So we just basically chop this off. Okay, now this hydroxyl group here, we're going to get rid of the hydrogen here and the one here, and we're going to make it a double bonded carbon on carbon number two. So this from carbon number three now gets relabeled to carbon number two with a double bonded oxygen. Okay, so once again, just to reiterate, this is an oxidation reaction and a decarboxylation. So we form a five carbon sugar now, and carbon one and the two oxygens leave, and the double bonded oxygen to carbon forms on carbon number two here. And that's step three. Step four, the last one, we're turning the ketose into an aldose. So here we have a ketone, and we're turning into an aldehyde. And an aldose is an aldehyde, but, but it's a sugar. And a ketose is a ketone group on a sugar. So we're taking ribulose 5-phosphate, 
and we're going to use the enzyme rubulose 5-phosphate isomerase. And this is a reversible reaction, right? So you can go both ways. And we're going to turn it into ribose 5-phosphate. Okay, so as you can see, we turn it into an aldehyde. And then this double bonded uh, oxygen turns into a hydroxyl group. Okay, and that is it. That is step four and the final step. And see, now we've we finished, we're, this pathway's done. So we have ribose 5-phosphate. And notice that if you compare it to the DNA molecule here, so this is a ribose, right? So we have one, two, three, four, five carbons. And then the phosphate molecule here. Right, ribose 5-phosphate, saying the, the, on the fifth carbon, we have a phosphate group. So this is the fifth carbon, we have a phosphate group. This is not a carbon. This is an oxygen atom. So don't be, uh, don't be fooled. <laughs> so one, two, three, four, five, that's five carbons and the phosphate group. So we have ribose 5-phosphate. And that is it. This is the pentose, the pentose phosphate pathway. Until next time.